Well, Governor Polis will support a bill that makes it harder for families to get out of vaccinating their children. This is a departure from last year when he helped kill a similar measure. Well, Denver 7's Megan Lopez is joining us. And Megan, the governor believes this bill is better than the one we saw last year. Right, and that's because there are some very notable differences in this bill this time around that just simply weren't there last time. Now, the governor said last session he considers himself pro-choice when it comes to vaccines, but this vaccine bill that I'm talking about is not not the only one that's talking about immunizations and up for debate this session. It was a blanket of snow that slowed the start I pledge allegiance to the flag. of another busy day at the Colorado Capitol. The House will come to order. This week, though, not bad weather nor opposition could delay a bill aimed at vaccine exemptions for students. A bill that was blocked last session after hours of bitter debate. It does not mandate vaccines. This time around. It's a passionate topic. The bill sponsors are the same. What we always come back to is uh, the process on how you get that exemption. But a lot has changed. Parents who don't want to get their kids vaccinated will no longer be required to ask for an exemption in person. The rules about who can offer those exemptions are also a little more loose this time, and there's an online option for parents. So to move that needle and to really improve the immunization rates, we need to change that process a little bit and, um, and just legitimize it. While those sponsors push for more rules around exemptions. All medicines have different risks and benefits. Another bill this session wants to give employees more choice. Representative Lori Sain's bill prohibits employers from requiring requiring their workers to get vaccinated. There's a lot of discrimination going on for certain employees, including in licensed health care facilities. And she says this bill will help people who have adverse reactions to certain vaccines. It's not as if uh, the people refusing all vaccinations or those who think the risks outweigh the benefits. There's a lot of passion behind this because people are affected by this. Different approaches to an emotional issue. I can't deny that it has become a partisan issue. And a debate neither side wants to postpone no delay or not. Now, one more vaccine bill that was introduced by Representative Dave Williams offers consumer protections for vaccinations, like requiring parental consent, for instance, and for doctors to provide more information to patients. All of those bills obviously still have a very long way to go in committees with debates, but we're going to be keeping an eye on all well, of we them. We know you will. All right, yeah, Megan, thank you so much. There. Thanks, Definitely. Megan. Well, Colorado Congress